party presidential candidate Peter Obi has vowed to stop campaigning for the presidency if anyone can prove he misappropriated funds received as governor of Anambra State. The former governor made a statement while speaking to Nigerians in the United Kingdom and urged officials working in the government to stop stealing public funds. According to Obi, he received over half a trillion naira during his eight year tenure as the governor of Anambra State without misappropriating any percentage of the money. He further dared anyone to prove his statement wrong, adding that if they can, he will stop campaigning for the presidency. Stop the stealing. I received about half a trillion naira as governor in eight years. If anyone can show me where 1% of it was misappropriated, I will stop campaigning. Peter B said, no Nigerians in, said to Nigerians in the UK. Meanwhile, Peter B recently denied claims that he is currently on a fundraising tour for his campaign in the United States and Europe. Nigerian News reports that the OB was reacting to a call by a support group under the ages of Tinubu Shetima Connect asking the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to disqualify him from the 2023 presidential race over violation of the Electoral Act campaign funding. The statement added that Obi's trip was to insensitize and carry along Nigerians abroad on his upcoming agenda of rebuilding the country. He said Obi's foreign trips have become a worry to the ruling APC because its leaders cannot meet Nigerians in diaspora knowing that they contributed to their leaving the country in the first place. <laughs> okay. Yes, so yes, yes thrown the challenge out there if you think he should come out to and that is what i have been saying this man didn't work in isolation while he was governor before he even came out because he finished ended his tenure in 2014 and 20 that 2014-2015 he didn't even come out to even it was 2019 that he, he wanted he was the vp to vp candidate to atiku and since that 2014 to 2019 this man has been going around selling himself out holding one seminar um or the other telling people and that was when people just got to know him not even when he becomes to be a, a labor party so they were they've been seeing what this man has been and since that time nobody has come out to say ah, ah obi we worked under your governor under your government rather since 2014 that he left office nobody has come out to say we worked under your government why are you lying what oh, this is nobody and that's why see today not God is he saying anything concerning that well, what is the difference between a, its appropriation and a governor diverting state funds into your family business and making much profit? Is that even real? People are even talking about if Jesus cannot please you, who will? Nobody. You cannot prove it. Yes, you can prove it. He diverted money into his uh, accounts. How? Come out and tell, explain now. Uh, you are talking from outside Anambra State. Nobody within Anambra that didn't feel the impact of Peter Obi's government in eight years. And he didn't even pick some people and make them millionaires. Just like some people will tell you that the hey, well, reason, reason why I'm supporting Tinubu is because uh, he made Fashola, he made Ambody. That is the achievement for them. What about the millions of people? Hey, people can we have a lot of people who are uh, uh, helping others? Well, because of peanuts, our politicians have given you and you thought uh, you have arrived don't worry continue trending with your whatever measure but very soon you will realize that you have done to your what you have done to your children but then it will be irretrievably late for you they don't care these people that are suffering don't care you can preach from now to eternity they don't care they don't even know they are suffering they believe that that is how life is he even returned the money after you said you said what okay thank god he returned the money he did not divert it as his own unlike Tinubu. okay i think that's what this person is trying to say that he diverted funds to family for a business and making much profit and return the money after the money has depreciated to tissue paper in the name of saving money without a constructing a single massive project in eight years mm, okay that's why someone says after all he returned the money you see return the money the politician they return money they return money if somebody still you are nearly trace and 
an alien you are a Ghanaian and talking about Peter B in Nigeria if you don't stop this thing okay tell us the name of that com that family business after Rotinobu used Afa Beta to steal money and everyone knows the company so tell us that of Peter B if you are not a liar Jagaban boy your own is to vomit so that uh, you can gain favor I pity you I am sure that uh, you don't even know what Nigeria is passing through sorry you vote PDP, APC, vote safe, safely, slavery, vote insecurities and darkness, then you will see the phase two of life. Please, if you have any proof, provide it now or forever remain silent. Who is this person speaking for? Go for verification and stop talking tough on your precedents. Hmm. We are waiting for you, Mr. Accuser, to prove it. Stop deceiving your old age. Your mates are the ones running for governorship in other states and you are having sleepless nights for Peter B. Anambra State has not said their money is missing. There are over 4 million persons living there. Get useful and obedient because we have made up our minds to vote for. Who to vote for? And in the North Central, my votes, even my wife and several others, we waste our votes on this man. APC and PDP are same persons. Hmm, they say he, he stole money and returned it. Oh, please never stop, sir. Nigerians can't afford to lose this precious opportunity again. Anyone against Mr. B is against his own life, unknowingly to him. Impossible. No any governor in Nigeria that didn't steal his own state money. Never stop deceiving yourself. Then prove it now. Prove it so that uh, he can stop campaigning. Mind you, Peter happens to be the only governor who doesn't even receive salary and pension because he left it for the state. Hmm. Well, a thief does not even believe that nobody is a thief. A liar always thinks that every other person is lying. Liar and thieves do not trust themselves. Peter B is the next president of Nigeria. Mr. B has told Nigerians how humble, prudent, selfless, honest he is by daring anybody to prove his two Anambra state funds as governor. What else do Nigerians need to vote for him as for president come 2023? They can't. Somebody has, some people have just cooked some kind of a rubbish story and all of them are running away. Oh, he didn't save money. He kept money. He did this and that. Those who not stole money, they didn't do anything for you. God will always, God will, God will help them. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take on this.